Taoma reacts to allegations by filmmaker over 1.5 million naira skits. Nigerian comedian Akpo Kage Adedoyi Miriam, popularly known as Taoma, has responded to a social media allegation that she did a shabby job for 1.5 million naira. The sensational comedian was called out on social media by a filmmaker identified as at Ola on deck. The filmmaker in a post shared on his Twitter page claimed Taoma charged his client the sum of 1.5 million naira for a video that didn't entirely meet the expectations of the client. He said she shot the video and the client doesn't like the work done and her position is take it or leave it. His tweet read in a part. Responding to the allegations, the comedian through her management, the Grenade Company, in a statement dismissed the claims made by the filmmaker. According to the statement, Tauma and her management never had any communication or business dealings whatsoever with this person. Big Brother Niger Kaisha and Lucy harassed by police officers in Lagos. BBN Niger housemates Lucy and Kaisha were recently harassed by the Nigerian police at night in Lagos. An Instagram live dark video by Kaisha showed the policemen arguing with the housemates. Kaisha was heard saying that the policeman touched her with a gun and also asked to search her bag, but instead she alighted for her car to be searched. She refused the policeman searching her bags and they didn't want her to leave. At a point, the live video became shaky as a result of the policemen stopping her from recording their actions. Jane Koma, you are a fighter. You fought till you breathed your last. You held on through the pains because you wanted to live for us, the strongest of them all. You raised the strong woman in me. I promise to be strong for daddy and my younger ones. Heaven just gained an angel. I know you are up there in heaven, charming the angels with your beautiful smile and beautiful self. We are hot. We are broken, but God knows best. He gives, he takes. He decided it was time for you to rest away from the pains. He couldn't wait to have you in his bosom. We miss and love you, mom. You will live in our hearts forever. Jane Koma CCN Jane Koma Mama Oluebube. May her soul rest in perfect peace. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Kindly like our video, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bells for our latest updates. James Brown recovers his Instagram account. Did Bobrisky really threaten to kill him, or were they just clout chasing? Top Nigerian cross-dressers James Brown and Bob Risky have been at loggerheads for some time now, but it seems things have gotten really worse. According to They Didn't Cut Me, they, according to They Didn't Cut Me James Brown, his colleague has threatened his life. James shared a video online and alleged that he received a call from Bob Risky accusing him of copying his content as a cross-dresser. James Brown further alleged that Bob Risky threatened to kill him if he doesn't stop copying his contents. He said he isn't surprised at Bob Risky's action because he knows some seniors never want to see their juniors shine. He then said he cross-dresses just for fun only on Instagram but dresses as a man while going out. So Uncle Bob shouldn't see him as a threat. Sharing the video on social media page, James Brown wrote, for once in my life, I have never dragged the position with nobody. I have always been James Brown. They didn't cut me that everyone knows since day one. So if you have any problem with the content I'm putting out for the brands I'm working for, I don't give a hoot. That's some period. You already blocked me everywhere for months now on every platform. So why the truth? I'm just a realistic person and having fun on my platform. Responding to the allegation, Bob Risky said James Brown should be ready to sleep in cell for daring to use him to train. He also admitted to blocking James Brown on social media as he shared a screenshot of a direct message James Brown sent to him in October 2020. Bob Risky also said James Brown is disrespecting and opening his eyes for the person that gave him confidence to be who he is on social media. And this one got me. Talking about confidence, I think James Brown already had it from the onset. If you remember the video that made him go viral where he was arrested with some group of people in a lounge by the police and tacked gay. But he insisted he wasn't a gay but a dancer even though he wasn't even speaking the right English. He boldly said that they didn't cut me severally instead of 
they didn't catch me or something. You understand? So he kept on saying it. He also used the fact that he went viral to create a platform for himself where he showcased a whole lot of talents, comedy, stunts and all. His Instagram page of more than 200,000 followers was later taken down on the platform and it was rumored that Bob Risky was behind the action. Bob Risky, however, denied having anything to do with the ban on his account. Bob Risky wrote, all of you must tell me you love me. As for you, James Brown, I love you regardless. You're just a baby. Mama still loves you. Secondly, I need to clear the air. If I ever know about anyone's account deleted, let God judge me and repay me with evil. I have the purest heart ever. I can fight with you, but not to wish you bad. In what could be considered as the latest development to the story, James Brown took to his YouTube page to cry and seek for forgiveness from Bob Risky. However, his Instagram has been restored with over 200,000 followers. So right now, I do not know if this was just Bob Risky and James Brown cloud chasing or if Bob Risky actually really did threaten James Brown's life. I really don't know what these two are all about. Well, whatever it is, the sky is enough for everyone. The world is enough for everyone. Whatever anybody wants to be, if they want to be a whole lot of cross-dressers, it is okay for them. Like, I do not know why anybody has to feel like there's no room for the other person to rise. But if they were just cloud chasing, hmm, I feel like they really got us this time around.